let's see some fun thing about square numbers. Let's first consider two consecutive even numbers. We can take any two consecutive even numbers, but let's start with something easy. So let's consider four and six. Now multiply four by six. So four six are 24. Now add one to it. So plus one equals 25. And you know that 25 is the square of number five. Let's consider one more pair of consecutive even numbers, six and eight. Multiply these two numbers. So six eights are 48. Add one and you get 49 which is the square of 7. So what do you see here? You can see that when you multiply these two consecutive even numbers and add 1 to it, you are getting the square of a number which is in the middle of these two numbers. Now does this work for odd numbers as well? Let's check that out. Let's consider two consecutive odd numbers. Start with an easy pair, 5 and 7. So, 7 5s are 35. Now you add 1. So, you get 36, which is the square of 6. So, it works here also. 6 is in between 5 and 7. Similarly, if you consider 9 and 11, the product of 9 and 11 is 99. You add 1 to it. So, you get 100. And 100 is the square of number 10. So, now you see what is happening when you multiply two consecutive odd or even numbers and add one to it, you get a square of the number which is in between those two numbers. But where can I use it? Can you use it somewhere? Yes. Suppose if you want to calculate the square of 19. Now the usual way is to multiply 19 by 19. But you can get little creative here and you can multiply 18 by 20 and add 1 to it. Because this is easier. So you know that 18 twos are 36. So 18 multiplied by 20 equals 360 plus 1 equals 361. That means 19 squared equals 361. You can use this trick for all the numbers like 19, 29, 39, 49 and so on. For example, if you want to calculate the square of 99, just multiply 98 and 100 and add 1 to the product. That is a lot easier. Where else can you use it? You can use it to calculate the square of 101. How? You know that instead of multiplying 101 by 101, it is easier to multiply 100 by 102. So you can multiply 100 by 102 and add 1 to the product. So you are going to do 10,200 plus 1 which is 10,201. See you can do all this as your mental math. You do not have to do any long calculations. Again. The same trick you can use for 11, 21, 31, 41, 51 and so on for all these numbers. For example, if you want to calculate the square of 51, you multiply 50 by 52 and add 1 to the product. It's so easy. So you have learned something interesting about square numbers and you can use this trick to calculate the squares of certain numbers.